everybody and welcome back to Linda Tina TV. If it's not your first time here, if it is your first time, do consider subscribing, turning on that notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. Sometimes it takes the one that takes away my pain. pain. Sometimes the worry goes and I see hesitation. In this month, I officially moved to Italy 10 years ago. So it's my 10th year anniversary in Italy, living abroad. Um, if you're new here, I am Linda Tina from Uganda, Africa, East Africa. And I live in Italy, Milan. And I have been here for 10 years, as I just mentioned. And boy, oh boy, has it been a roller coaster. It's been, um, it's been generally great. I, I like my life in Italy. I've created, um, you know, a home here, a home in the literal meaning in the sense that I have, um, family here. I have my husband and kids and I also have created an environment that, you know, feels like home. I work here. I have citizenship here. I have a driver's license here. So I am literally, um, Italian. In, in, in most senses, I have immersed myself in the culture and yeah, I, I would like to share with you guys 10 things living abroad, particularly in Italy, that I have learned in these 10 years. So people are going to share with you their experiences, but you need to understand that your experience may be totally opposite and you need to experience most of these things yourself. Another thing living abroad has taught me is not to compare with back home. Now, <laughs> this is weird because I've been here 10 years, but I still compare things to back home. I keep saying, oh, back home, it doesn't happen like that. Back home, it doesn't happen like that. Or in this other country that I visited, it doesn't happen like that. And that is one mistake everyone who lives abroad usually makes. You keep comparing things to back home, but this is not back home. Get with the program, okay? Things are going to work differently in different parts of the world. And if you have decided to go and live out of your country, you need to understand that. Next is if you are going to live abroad, for a prolonged period of time, it's important that you make friends and networks where you are. Now, it's very common for people living abroad to, you know, keep their old friends and, you know, uh, how do I explain it? They have difficulty entering into this new space and finding new people there because they feel they already have their people back in their country, if that makes sense. So I had my old friends who I love so much, but there are areas of my life right now after living abroad that I can't connect with them. And the only people who will connect with me in those areas are people who are living here, physically living here close to me. And so it's very important that you make new friends. You may not make best friends, but it's very important that you make um, networks and connections where you are physically, especially if you're going to stay long term, because if this is going to be your home, you actually really need that. It helps you so much. Still continuing with that point, I'll go to the next one. Try to make friends with the locals. If you can, make an effort to actually make friends with the locals, the people who are born and raised from the country where you have moved to, so that you are easily um, integrated into this culture and into this new home. And also, you also, and also, you also, but you also feel more at home when you actually have local connections. Because also the thing about connecting with expatriates especially is that they come and go. So you're going to start making connections with people and then they will leave. You're going to start making connections with people and then they will have to change state or country. So it becomes really hard for you to be immersed in the place where you are. Talking about the culture, immersing yourself in the culture. Now, someone may think, you know what? That's not very important to me because I'm not from here anyway. I know um, African friends who live here who tell me, no, I don't like to do the things Italian do because I'm not Italian. Yes, 
I preserve my culture. I'm very protective of my culture, where I come from, my heritage. And I also try to teach that to my kids, even if they feel more Italian. Their father is Italian. They're being raised in Italy. But I try to let them know where mom comes from and this is part of them. But even if you're not married to an Italian and you're just moving to a country, it's important for you to um, learn the culture in order for you to understand why some things are the way they are. For example, in Italy, I have struggled with so many things. Sometimes I have been offended with so many things. For example, I, I kind of find the way um, some things come out in Italian rude, because then in English they come out differently. But when you get to learn the culture, you learn that, okay, they don't mean to be rude. They don't mean to be offensive. It's just a whole different culture and a whole different way of saying things. And that goes also to learning the language. If you're in a country that doesn't speak your language, it's important that you learn the language so that you don't do an automatic direct translation from that language to your language. And then you totally get lost in translation, but you also misunderstand things. So if you're gonna be in a country, especially long term, try to immerse yourself in the culture, the food. Um, what foods do they eat? What foods do they like? learn how to prepare some of them maybe you know it, it helps you to you know feel at home to make this place your home this may sound like i'm contradicting myself but let me explain um it's important that you immerse yourself in the culture right like i just mentioned but you shouldn't let this new culture cover your culture that you forget your culture or you feel like you're not yourself anymore like i mentioned i have kids here they don't go back to Africa as often as I would want them to. I would, I would want them to do like half here, half there, but it, you know, it's not going to happen that way. So what I do is I bring the culture to them. I try to tell them back home we do this. When I was growing up, I did this. I read them books. You know, I create these stories about Uganda, about my country. Also in the same breath, um, if you're studying in a country, maybe you're there for study or you're there for work or you just decided to move to this new country teach people who surround you about your culture so that when they come and find you doing a certain thing they don't look at you like what the hell are you doing they know that oh yeah she's she's you know she's that's where she comes from and that's how they do it that way don't let your culture and who you are and where you come from be suppressed by you trying to fit in I hope that makes sense you know if you want to wear a head wrap and you wear you want to wear african prints and go to a, a, a an all italian show for example i live in italy so i give the italian example do it i remember the first time i wore a tavern to um i think it was a it was a brunch with my in-laws and some extended family some of them asked me oh um, oh my god, that is different and I'm like yeah, it's, it's different, but it's me and you know They asked me how how to make the tavern how to do the head wraps and they were interested in learning So don't be shy about teaching people about your culture basically Living abroad has taught me that racism is Everywhere I get asked a lot. Is there racism in Italy? Um, what kind of racism have you experienced in Italy? And I tell them, honestly, I have not had that direct racism, but I've had microaggressions because that's more how it works here in, in Italy. They're more subtle about it, but it's there. So I want to tell people, especially um, if you're going to move into a country where, you know, the majority of the people are of a different color, are of a different race, you need to expect that there will be that one person who you know will try it who will try it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna teach them because usually these are very ignorant people or people who are just you know have hate in their hearts or just not gonna like you because you're of a certain color and this can happen even the other way around like a white person could move to a dominantly um a place that's that's more dominantly um with black people and they receive the same treatment so this can go either side um you need to know that race Racism is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere you go there will be that one ignorant person who is going to try and tell you you're not good enough because of the color of your skin and so that's something you kind of have to um, prepare yourself for mentally and um, you know learn how to clap back, learn how to teach them and put them in their place basically. <laughs>
last but not least the 10th thing i have learned in 10 years of living abroad in italy is to learn to be flexible and open-minded guys i don't think a person who is not flexible to change and open-minded can survive happily in a foreign land mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I was one of those people who were <laughs> a little resistant like you tell me this is gonna go this way and I'm like no 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 I, I want to do it this way because this is what I'm used to because this is what I'm familiar to because this is how it's done back home remember that point I told you about not comparing with back, back home back home because you are not back home so being flexible open-minded open to change um, open to learning and unlearning things is very important when you're going to live abroad when you're going to live in a new land because we, 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 we evolve as people when we interact with people of new cultures and people who are different from us and if you don't open your mind and you're not open to learning you will not evolve evolve and you will not grow you will stay in the same place in that comfort zone of what you know what you're familiar with and that's why you see they say traveling is such a great thing because it opens your mind to new possibilities new people new things and so one very important thing you need to um learn when you um, live in a new land is to be open-minded and flexible and you know just ready to learn and unlearn a few things and with that i will close this video it's exciting to think that it's been 10 years sometimes it feels like it's been 50 like it's been forever and other times it feels like oh my god it's, it's it's just yesterday that i came here i didn't speak italian i didn't know how to navigate this land and i'm right here you know feeling more italian than ever but you know my roots are back there back in uganda that doesn't change that doesn't change but yeah i've made italy my home and i've created a life a good life for me here and yeah that's all i wanted to share with you guys if there's some of you living abroad and you want to add on to these 10 points that i've mentioned please feel free to leave them down in the comment section and also share with me some of your experiences i'll be um, glad to read that so um with that i say bye bye and see you in my next one